Let me tell you three mistakes that you're making in Canva as a newbie and the reason why your items are turning out very ugly. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Mistake one, your stuff is clashing. Imagine you spending hours on one design and you're wondering why it don't look right. Well, guess what? Your items are clashing. You got color here, you got color here, and they just all oh, colors together. Let's start with the first mistake that you're making, which is color clashing. You have one color here, and then you got one font here, and then they just going together. Imagine you spending hours on one project, and you're wondering why they do not work together. That's because they're clashing. You cannot do that. Take this image, for instance, and what I see, it definitely looks nice. I love the neon pink and the neon green, and I really like how it just grabs my attention. When really it is not in a good way. You see it's so much pink and then you see so much green and then they're all clashing because it's not a steady flow of colors. They're bouncing around and it just doesn't work and it's starting to look messy and overwhelming. So you have to think about this. Many beginners, they don't use the color palette. They don't even stick to their brand. So I highly suggest to go in and use the Canva tools um, and like say for instance, I click on this and I can go ahead and just change the color and I look over here and I see the color palette. So this is the brand color. Then I'll go ahead and see the other colors that I use. Also, you can check out your photo color, which really helps you out a little bit to adjust. And then they also give you other colors that you can go ahead and play on around with. You can also type a color that you want. So you can say blue if you want, for instance. I highly recommend that you go ahead and pick a play around and just see what colors you can go ahead and use to make it pop and make it stand out a lot better. Alrighty, so my I highly suggest to go ahead and fix this issue is to pick two to three main colors and one accent, okay? So two to three main colors and one accent. And this color palette, it can be found in the palette generator but it's like a total lifesaver when you really consider it, okay? And you can also use the website called, called Colors and make that two O's, C-O-O-L-O-O-R-S. And to go ahead and generate a, a color palette of your choice. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and see what we can go ahead and pick for our next go around. And we'll go ahead and get it started. Wow, they chose almost my brand colors, but it's not exact. But this is just a going a go-to and a nice tip that you can just check out and explore the complementary shades, okay? Now, another tip is that if you want to go ahead and really make your stuff pop, using neutral tones, white, black, beige, to balance out the colors. As you can see, the white, the black, the beige with a pop of color gets you all the way right. Alrighty, so let's go over the second mistake newbies have when they go ahead and start designing in Canva. The second thing is that they overuse the text effect. I know Canva has so many cool options such as shadow, outline, curved text. It makes you just want to use everything. But I'm going to be honest, it really affects your design and make you look like a pure amateur, okay? For example, adding a shadow to every single text line that makes about five different font styles it just make you over it just make it overwhelm for your audience for yourself eventually you're gonna be like what's the problem okay so i know it's tempting to use all but don't okay so let me give you a pro tip okay stick to about two to three go ahead and just use it for your headers for another or a subtitle a body text and use the effects okay do it sparingly okay do not use them all in one section let me go ahead and show you example of you just doing too much okay so if you go ahead and look at this flyer you'll see that they're using a glitch effect here a hollow effect here they're using the splice effect here and then they're using a neon effect here if you look at this this look a mess even a neon effect down here right along with the lift that's too messy and you don't want to get to that point of where you just being too messy and you cannot focus so beginners i suggest that you go ahead and scale it down and choose less 
okay? So how do you fix it, okay? You limit the effects to one to two and the important words, okay? So you want the, to grab their attention while you're doing this, okay? For example, if you design a flyer, you're gonna show them a shadow effects on like the header and leave the rest clean, okay? So for instance, this is the one, like it looks clean, it looks crisp, it does, it grabs your attention, that's what you want. So when we say don't overuse the effects, smooth out the effects. So let me go ahead and tell you about the third mistake that Canva newbies tend to make. Already, the lack of visual balance. You cannot go ahead and design something and your mind get cluttered. And you have so much going on here, so much going on there. Just imagine you look at something, you'll be like, whoo, they got a lot in this corner. Whoo, they got a lot in that, that bottom. That's what I mean by too much clutter and your audience cannot figure out what you're doing and you're wondering why your sales is not popping. All righty? So you got to keep that in consideration. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to balance, achieve, and make sure that you place your elements and use the negative space, also known as the white space. And if you got too much, go ahead and throw a little bit of white up in there so I can, so you will know what to do. Let me go ahead and show you guys about what's too cluttered and what's clean. Let's go. Okay, so you have your image and you're trying to figure out where to place everything at. You have your computer on here on the right where I can show you what to do in design. And then you got another just effect, a visual effect that a person can use as a nice element. But you just got it all on one side and you're trying to figure out why is it not working. And then you got to figure out how am I going to make it pop and sell this class, okay? So let me go ahead and break it down to you. You only want to put at least a few images there. So one, two, maybe three. You don't want to oversaturate it where it's hiding, where it's taking away from what it really needs to do. Alrighty, so as you can see, I just got the girl here, and she's just making her appearance. That's it. She's on her computer doing what she's supposed to do. Then I got the fly fly airplane in here and it's just doing its job okay this is a virtual situation um we're not about to do overthinking come on in and learn okay and to really make it pop i'm went ahead and put a nice sticker in the back so it's like peeling and it's like a sale because originally it's a hundred dollars so take advantage okay so right here is clear it's understandable so now you have it, the top three mistakes Canva newbies make and how to fix it. Alrighty, but let me go ahead and leave y'all with an extra tip to elevate your design even farther. Practice makes perfect. The more you experiment, the more tools and the more confidence you will be in your designing choices. Start small, work your way to the big leagues. Definitely try the new layouts and the templates. It's always updating. Lastly, don't be afraid to break the rules, but only when you master. Designing is a story, okay? And it's all about your creativity. Once you understand it, you'll be able to go ahead and start experimenting and find your own unique style. I'd love to know what was your biggest takeaway. Also, I have a Canva how-to guide on how you can go ahead and navigate through Canva. Some tips and tricks in there. Alrighty. So, this is basically the ebook and how it looks. So, the first page, you got a, a design in Canva like a pro. This is definitely a Canva guide for beginners. So, we're going to go ahead and just show a little snippet so y'all can get a feel of what we're offering in this ebook. Alrighty. So, you got your Canva guide. You got your contents, and it's going to be go over about me, who I am, what I do, the X, Y, and Z, okay? So we're going to talk about getting started. Then we're going to talk about the editing basics, the toolbar, tips, and tricks. And then we're going to talk about free and pro, okay? What's the difference between free and pro? Because you'll be really surprised about the free and then versus the pro, which I highly recommend going with the pro. Alrighty, so let's go down and we'll get started. So the first thing is the introduction about me, but then chapter one is really getting started. Getting down to the nitty gritty, I will go ahead and show you how to go ahead and create an account. Then you have your landing page, and on your landing page, it'll just give you all the nitty gritty. Then you have also, when you upload or buy something, we're gonna teach you how to upload it, okay? Then you got your editing, which basically is basic items that you're gonna, um, design and then you got your working with text so 
if you guys love this bit love this go ahead and click the link in the description and it will take you directly to our website that hold the ebook and for you guys only i would drop a code in there so y'all can get it off on a discount all righty all righty thank you for choosing this video and spending the day with me okay can y'all please go ahead and like and subscribe so i can go ahead and post more canva tips and tricks and please share this video because there's a lot of newbies out in the world that are really having trouble and don't forget to meet me back here next sunday and i can't wait to see you guys bye